Sua Di Kha, a very good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World Tonight. I'm Nad Bunag. I'm Tulip Nag Sampop Lao. On Friday last week, the Prime Minister did the televised address on the COVID-19 situation in Thailand. And it's something the country needs right now, something to clear up the air, what's happening in Thailand and where are we going and what are we doing. But after the address, there's a lot of criticism about how the Prime Minister communicate the message to the public. So today we have Assistant Professor Dr. Tawida Kamonwe, the Dean of Faculty of Political Science, Thammasat University. She is going to discuss with us about this particular thing, the communication skills of the world leaders. Sawadee Sawadee So because we said it's for the world leaders, I don't want to focus just the Prime Minister himself, but before we talk about other leaders, I probably have to ask you, if you have to grade his speech on Friday, let's 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 not uh, do the whole thing for the past. Uh, actually, if you have me refer to the past, that would give him some score. But when you say that it's only Friday, <laughs> a score would be really like. Oh my God, system. you're asking a university professor to grade A, B, C, D, and I cannot even give him a C because that would go to average. So he's a little bit below then. <laughs> that, right. That's too harsh. Uh, only Friday though, only Friday, only this Friday. Th this is, we are getting into a very serious situation and the government hasn't been very clear and communicate very well for the past several days so you really need a hit on you really need a very strong and um what can i say you, you need a, a a leaders that come out not only strong but to create confidence and very uh showing his empathy on on every situation and real life making sense of it what's going on so uh, it's gonna be really hard on my grade on him on that friday Okay, but if so you have to compare other world leaders, so let's say these leaders are in your effective communication class. If you have to compare the prime minister with other world leaders, such as New Zealand, Singapore, Germany, who would be the top of your class in terms of their communication during this type of crisis? Oh, uh, definitely. I, I pretty much, um, it, it's not because I am also a woman, no. But yes, of course, I'm, I'm pretty much uh, the same as uh, people around the world that witness. I like, um, I like the way um, Prime Minister of New Zealand, Jacinda, that, that, is, uh, that is very strong yet, mother-like. So basically, you were right. talking about also comforting and caring as well as the message have to be strong the measure has to be very strict so so that come out really naturally especially uh, related to her personality however it doesn't mean that the other leaders pretty much like Merkel of Germany uh Shai Ing-wen of Taiwan or even Lee Sien Lung of Singapore but those three people even though we pretty much don't talk in everything in terms of communication as a communicator but then the message itself of these uh, three leaders also kind of like choreograph I what can I say the message fit with their personality Merkel right. come out very strong short message and then keep everyone pretty much in line. Lee Sin Lung coming out with a very like uncle-like and very loose, very easy going and creating nationalism pretty much coming together. So Chai Ying Wen, she doesn't speak much though, but she spoke throughout her practice and activity that she went around and do things and she really speak through what she made and get things done. And she did it very well. So the different way of communication is actually effective to me too. So what areas can the prime minister improve for the next briefing? But I'm pretty sure you think there's got to be a lot of areas that he can improve. I think his attention to start with. I think on especially on Friday, the attention and intention of the prime minister is a little off trail. He's actually you know, on Friday, the nation is waiting for pretty much only one message 
what would be next in the future, especially vaccine, especially the situation of this outbreak and everything, whether or not going to be under control, is it going to be deceiving? And then when the vaccine will be distributed, how many vaccines are going to come in and whether or not private sector can actually jump on it? And how long would that be? How long would the wait would be? So basically, if you asking me, his attention and intention on that Friday supposed to be communicating, talking to the people. Uh, it's pretty much to me that on Friday, more than 50% of the message is actually talking back to people who criticize, talking back to people who raise the question. It's not a time to do in such a way. You can answer a question with a very informative answer that you have to analyze what's the atmosphere and what the people are looking for. And then solving the criticism, ease up the criticism together with a very good, significant, hit on the heart of the people, kind of informative conversation. That's what the attention and intention and focus of the leader is supposed to be on that Friday. In this kind of situation, you don't only need strength, you, you don't only need like straightforward and clear information. You also need to understand what's going on. And you really need to make sense of every segment in the society. And to be able to convince them to participate, you have to also give them what is actually your hard work that you lead on. It's, it's a really thin line, slightly different between complaining babbling about the hard work or telling them that hard work that we work together would lead us to where and what would be the next step that we go together. And that's all the time we have in this edition of Thai PBS World tonight. It might look a little out of ordinary. We both uh, live from home. It's what everybody do right now. It's an odd, odd year. 2020 is an odd year. 2021 is exactly. also going to be an <laughs> Well, but if you want to know more about whatever happened in Thailand or in Myanmar, we have special column called Myanmar Report. You can just check out our website on worldwideweb.thaipbsworld.com. And that wraps up tonight's edition of Thai PBS World Tonight. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะ